In Professor Balthazar's town, Victor and his Egomat were a regular feature of the daily market. The Egomat was a technical masterpiece. With absolute precision, it boiled the famous eggs a la Victor. Whoever tried them once could never again do without them. Each morning, the first customer was the news vendor, Mario. After he had eaten two eggs a la Victor, Mario called out the headlines with a beautiful voice the rest of the day. After him came Tom, the crane operator. He handled a huge 360-ton crane, and because of the size of his job, he ate all of 12 eggs. One of Victor's regular customers was Captain Philibert. No matter on which sea he sailed, Captain Philibert came to Victor every morning. Because if he did not eat his egg a la Victor, he was immediately seasick. Ignis suffered from chronic hiccups, which could be cured only by an egg a la Victor. Professor Balthazar was also one of Victor's steady customers. Victor's popularity was great, and his egomat operated without let-up. But one morning... The machine broke down. The super precision clock inside stopped. Victor and his customers went to Oscar the clockmaker, who was the only one who could repair it. But there was a big surprise in store for them. It seemed that all the clocks in town had suddenly gone wrong. Clockmaker Oscar was helpless. Without its clock, the Egomat was no longer an Egomat. And without the Egomat, there were no more eggs a la Victor. Captain Philibert immediately had a serious attack of seasickness. Ignis hiccuped like mad. Without his daily helping of eggs, Tom couldn't lift even the smallest load. News vendor Mario was left without his voice. Unsold newspapers accumulated in a great heap. And this, in turn, had dire consequences. The homeless Alphonse, for whom the newspapers were sheets and blankets, caught a terrible cold without them. The retired Admiral, Sylvester, who commanded the most famous naval battles in history all day long, suddenly found himself without a fleet. Desperate citizens asked Professor Balthazar to help. He thought and thought, and decided.
First, he invented a clock which worked perfectly. But at the same time... <laughs> there was a small Zizi from the distant star Zizi. He wanted desperately to return home to his Zizi mother and Zizi father. The spaceship in which he had arrived on Earth had broken down. To repair it, he had secretly removed the springs from all the clocks in town, but in vain. Balthazar comforted him. He promised to help him if he would return each spring to the clock from which he had taken it. Next morning, all the clocks were back in working order. Victor's Egomat worked perfectly. Everybody recovered. Only Zizi's problem had to be solved. <laughs> Before saying farewell, Professor Balthazar invited Zizi to one of the famous breakfasts a la Victor. Zizi enjoyed this immensely. The reputation of this wonderful earth delicacy spread throughout the whole Zizi planet. And the enraptured Zizi people became regular customers of Victor and his Egomat. Baltazar, 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 Baltazar.